starting to put some of the pieces together for the duck house and for the front um, I was looking at this uh, tree that had fallen in last year I cut it cut it into some sections it's completely hollowed out um, but what I was looking at was a slice of that and put that on the front door when I was cutting this when I got to the very last chunk um, there was a big black snake curled up inside of it. Well, this will be the front door. Look at that. I mean, it fits perfect like it was meant to be. It's four and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. I chiseled out just a little bit of that um, inside, but kept it as natural as could be. So I'm going to outline that, cut that out with the jigsaw, and get that on. So this is the boneyard. And I know Mr. Capper wonders why I collect all this stuff. Um, there's some barn boards right here. And my collection of bark. And some really big pieces of bark too. Before I go any further, I just want to show you what I did so far. So this is just a basic um, duck house size i mean i looked on the internet and i looked on dnr sites they're all over the place so it's not all that hard and they're all pretty much standard size um, but the inside is still the rough cedar the outside is the smooth i did put a coat of varnish on i know cedar lasts a long time but i wanted these to last even longer and you can see i have two hinges over here because this will be the door that opens that we can clean it out then uh, this is the top up here, and then I wanted to show you this inside board, and it has a little wire mesh on it, so the little nippers can crawl out when it's time. The outside is varnished, again the inside isn't, so it's um, bird friendly. So this is that bark that I got, and I dried it. I then put a coat of varnish, the water-based varnish on the outside. And on the inside of the bark, I scraped away the loose stuff. And that'll help preserve it a little bit longer because we know what bark does out in the woods. Uh, this is what it'll look like. I'm just going to put it on the side here, screw it on, and it'll have a, a natural wood finish. I've got the first side screwed on. Don't worry, they're not poking into the inside, so no birds will get hurt. Um, this was the top one. I just had to cut away some of the bark for that opening. And then that ring will fit on there, just perfect. Oh, is that inviting or what? Almost done. All I have left right now is to put the roof on. I had to leave that one edge open so I can get in there uh, to open and close it. And I even put trim around the edges. Kind of like trimming out the window there too. Um, I did end up leaving the edges right here where the door is going to open. I didn't put any bark there just so I can get to it easier. But you know you may be wondering about bark but Really, uh, this is the roof that I cut out. It's a section. Um, I dried it. I put a coat of um, that poly on it. You could also use like a non-toxic glue just to make it stiffer. But uh, this thing is like a board. I mean, it's solid. So it's not like it's going to come apart real soon, which is exactly what I want. I want it to last. So this will be the final piece, get that screwed in there. I can't believe it, but it is finally done. But uh, I think it turned out pretty cool, definitely unique. Um, it's got the roof and I even lined underneath the edges. Uh, it's got that piece of wood that I sliced off. It's about two inches thick and it's sticking out the side. Perfect size for the duck. Uh, I put the bark all the way around it. 
front, sides. I didn't do it on the back. That'll be mounted to the tree or the post, whatever we decide to do. And then this was the side that will open up that we can get in and we can clean it out. It's got the little mesh for the chicklins to get up when they're ready. And a nice cedar bed waiting for them. Man, it smells good. So between the cedar and the wood and the chips, it's very inviting. Man, if I was a bird, I'd be all over that. So I didn't put any bark along the top edge there because I need to keep that clear for uh, to be able to open it. All we have to do is add bird and we have to get it up on the tree or the pole I mean. It is very heavy, heavier than what I anticipated. And what I'm doing for a lock, I just have a screw on one side and a screw in the other and I'm just going to pull this tight, it's a stiff wire. Do it up there one way and do it on the bottom the other way. Just in case a coon does happen to get up there. Found this cedar tree in the woods pretty close to the house. And we're going to use that for the base for the duck house. Okay, so we found a perfect location, we think, but we're not wood ducks. We yeah, we think. Um, it's just inside the water's edge, and right now the lake is at its fullest, unless we make the berm a little bit higher. But this is the shallow part. It faces the south, so they should get enough warmth. And it's next to an open field. That's that soybean field behind us. And mom should have a straight fly zone right into it, right off the pond or right in the sky. So we modified it just a smidge. We moved it in a little bit um, so that the little critters don't end up um, being chicken nuggets by the end of the day. So this will get shade now, late afternoon. So that should help. It'll get sun in the morning to help warm them up. And uh, and all that stuff around Mr. Capper there is all those sharp briars. So we'll make sure the front is cleared out where the hole is. But that should actually help uh, keep some of them predators away too. So they should have a pretty nice view once they crawl up into that hole and take their first jump out. All right, there she is. The capper duck rentals are open. All we gotta do is add bird. Hopefully we're not too late. We ended up wrapping a piece of uh, steel roofing material around the tree for that predator guard. And there it is. It's facing south, a little bit east. It'll get a little bit of shade late in the afternoon from these trees when they get leaves on them. And those briars around there should help keep any critters away too. The water's close, so when the little ducklings are ready, they can bounce out of there and head for the shallows. Hopefully there's not a bass sitting here waiting for them. Mm -hmm.